what's the one thing that a man is best at? Oh, wow. Just want to light them all up. Come out huh? squaming. Um, deny, deny, deny. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Deny, deny, that. deny, folks. Oh, wow. We just watched a movie that said that. Are you? Something that said deny, deny, deny. That's funny. Anyways. So, what is, uh, let's talk about denial. Okay, let's do it. Okay. What does denial get you? Oh, nothing good. Well, what does it get you? Um, time? Mm. I don't know. What does it get you? It gets you, it, it uh, provides you the opportunity to continue living uh, possible lives. Oh, like it's it like an ex like an excuse to behave poorly or something. To behave in the same way that you were without right. changing. Right. Oh, without changing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, um, I was thinking of betrayal, like oh, denial. That's yeah, denial like leads to betraying yourself because you're denying the truth of something. Right. Betrayal. So, like, if you're, uh, whether you're denying, whether you're in denial uh, with, in your relationship, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, interactively, or you're just in denial within yourself. Um, it's just like, uh, as we said, an excuse to continue living the same way without changing. So, um, what, what's an example of that in the twin flame dynamic? Um, I would say like what's coming up for me is a lot of times I see, um, women, feminine energies, like denying their actual needs, like not being honest with what they actually desire and need from their partner. And they compromise who they are and betray themselves to try to create a connection instead of honoring who they are and truly uh, voicing and, and being honest with what their needs are so that their partner can support them properly. We also see like people, um, feminine or masculine, I guess, saying like, I've, I'm healed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's good. I'm healed. Mm. Uh, and in complete denial that maybe there's more to go yeah right yeah like if uh if you're healed twin flame it's pretty mm -hmm. simple like uh when you reach a certain level of of healing within yourself right like when you master unconditional love within yourself um there's nothing you could do to not be in harmonious twin flame mm -hmm. however uh if you believe yourself to be completely healed and that not be the case, then one of two things has happened. Either you're in denial or um, you've somehow proven that none of this exists. That's painful. Hmm. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of people that um, will hit a block in their, in their journey, hit, like just genuinely hit a block. And they believe that love is limited and they, that, that they're unlovable in some space or that uh, this is it. But that's just, that's just genuine. It's not true. God is ever expansive. It's God is unlimited uh, in his ability to love us. And so I think that a lot of times uh, we tend to default into settling. And so it's really important to always do check-ins, always feel how you're feeling and check in to see if you're denying yourself something, maybe it's just basic self-care, nurturing, just love. And in proactively loving yourself, choosing to love yourself all the time, not just when you're upset, right? Like choosing to love yourself consistently every day, all day. And through that, and through loving yourself, it, you'll overflow with love and therefore then you're in a space to love others. Right when you're overflowing with love, when you're so filled up, when your well is so full, you can simply then um, share it with others and support other people and fill it, you know, and doing the inner work themselves. Mm. 
And it, it is very important to like um, take care of yourself first, mm -hmm. right? Like, like you said, fill up your own well. And that means like taking care of you first. Um, otherwise, it's very difficult to uh, take care of someone else or uh, give uh, to someone else mm -hmm. if you're not uh, in a place of giving to yourself. Yeah, you can't give from an empty cup. I think this is such a like a really big problem with you know, a lot of people, especially women with families, they give, 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 and then they're so depleted energetically that they get sick or they don't, you know, they have a breakdown or burnout because they're not properly caring for themselves uh, in order to care for those around them. And so in addition, it results in a lot of people not understanding or knowing how to care for themselves because they're never given space to do so. I think that it's a double-edged sword there. And so really choosing to have healthy relationships, starting with a healthy relationship with yourself is gonna cultivate you and supporting everyone around you having healthy relationships and choosing to love themselves. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And more to that point of like, just someone giving, giving, giving to someone else and then expecting them to give back to you in return mm -hmm. uh, to fill you up uh, is not how it works, right? It's like, no. You have to do it. Everyone has to do that for themselves. Yeah, everyone has to fill up their own well of love with love, right? Yeah, in order for it to be sustainable mm -hmm. or it's unsustainable the other way. Yeah. Same thing goes for your twin flame. Can't get, uh, right? It's the same dynamic. You have to learn to mm -hmm. fill up yourself uh, and not expect it from anyone else, even your twin flame. It would be very off-putting to your twin flame if you're expecting something from them. They'll probably shut you down, block you, because it's just like an unpleasant energy. So love yourself. It's always an invitation to love yourself. That's what will attract. Mm -hmm. And that's what really Twin Planet Session School is all about. It's about learning how to love yourself. And you can watch the students in that class uh, love themselves in all areas of consciousness. We really move through so much in Twin Planet Session School. Uh, and it's a really vital resource on our Twin Planet journey. And, and it still is today for us in regards to moving into perfect union, we're, we still, years later, we still watch it, years later, we still receive from it, and we're still learning and growing at, in our spiritual life because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes up is okay. Let's just put that out there. Yeah, like, don't judge yourself. You don't have to deny yeah, anything no. to save face or to make yeah. it seem like you're, uh, the thoughts or whatever feelings that you have are unspeakable that's mm -hmm. not true whatever comes up in your consciousness it is okay so long as you um you know deal with it properly mm -hmm. and move through it um in a healthy way for you that's what's going to you know propel you forward that's what's going to uh uh, you know, move you into succeeding in all the areas of your life. Yeah, have compassion for yourself. All right, gang. See you next time. Bye.